try this out. If you want to subscribe to some calendars, uh, I'm in my drive right now, but I'm going to use the app grid up here to go over to calendar. And from there, I'm going to use this drop down menu by my calendars. And, oh, that's not it. I'm sorry. We're going to go down to other calendars. And I'm going to browse interesting calendars. From there, we have a whole bunch, but I don't need holidays and I don't need sports. I'm going to go to more. And right underneath phases of the moon, but above star dates, are resources for uh, Nina for our school district. So I'm going to click on that. And then from here, I can find all the elementary labs and simply hit subscribe. I'm going to take the uh, Coolidge, looks like I'm going to take the Coolidge keyboards, 1 through 30. I'm going to subscribe to that. Once I've done that, if I go back to my calendar, um, if you are in Coolidge, this will show up here under my calendars because you'll have editing access. Because I'm not at Coolidge, mine's down here where I can just view it, but I cannot actually create an event. If I wanted to create an event, I can do this. Just click and create one, and then uh, if I have access, it'll show up in here. So I can use Coolidge keyboards 1 through 30, but I, 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 I'm not there, so I don't have access to that. Um, but let's check and see. It should show up underneath my calendars if you do this right. I'm actually going to go back and uh, unsubscribe to this now. Hope this helps.